Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dean. If you're new here, hi, how are you? Hope you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful day. Today we are tuning into It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. So we are in season 14, episode 6. I know you guys see me looking down. I had to look at my paper because I forget. But we are in season 14, episode 6. So before we dive into bronies, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you have that bell turned on. And make sure you're buckled up to see what the gang is doing today. Let's dive in. That poor sap doing the two-step to nowhere is me. Started with the white lie and ended with the dark truth. I needed a pretty girl with soft lips and a nursing degree. I'm just the janitor. What? I just realized Charlie's name is his actual name. Charlie Day, right? Let's go back to when it all began. It was a wet Tuesday night. I had already finished my shift, or maybe it had finished me. The victim, a handicapped stall. The murderer, a butt. And that's when trouble walked in like it always does. Somebody spilled, and I don't mean to the feds. So, being it stretch, I said I'm off the clock. Oh, you want it the hard way, huh? Okay, Max. Hey, Charlie, don't make me mop the floor with you. I wonder what you'd do for a biscuit. Ooh! Biscuit? Why? Okay. Five minutes, I'll be up and chasing his tail again. You're gonna mop that floor, Charlie. If those floors aren't up to snuff, who you think he'll blame? The handsome bartender? The floor, that's easy enough. Only it never stays mopped. It only spread around. You know, they say any port in a storm. This port just dash! It's Frank. He's been diarrhea poisoned. He's stuck at my place. He's absolutely carpet bombed my bathroom and my carpet. So why didn't Frank call me himself? Why send one of his goons? What? I'm a knockout blonde with a body that would make a statue blush. Can you just come and get him, please? Not oh, sure, I catch. Either I take the job or you and the other goons play patty cake. I'll buy you a new set of rags. Well, that's all you had to say. He's in the bedroom. Here, take a smoke. Make it stiff enough to stand on its head and sing oh Susanna. What are you doing here? Who sent you? Well, you're in the hot seat, so I'll ask the questions. No, no, this morning you barged in here saying they got me. I've been diarrhea poisoned. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. All right, you know what? Just whatever. All right, Frank, you don't want to talk names? Let's talk about the weather instead. Pumped into a dope fiend. It must have stuck me with a needle. Don't be a liar, Frankie boy. Now, my guy says it started sometime last night when you were locking up Patty. It's fled the scene, hightailed it to the nearest apartment. D's. Only your pants didn't make the trip. Who was it, Frank? Lay off it, gum scraper. I'm warning you. You won't help me? Then fine. I'll catch the rat bastard myself. I hit the pavement looking for anybody who had a problem with Frank. Found enough beef to open a hamburger store. So it all met Diddley. Maybe the bad guy was hiding at the bottom of a beer bottle. Leave me alone! You're making a big mistake. The lady said scrap! You think you can clean up this mess? Be my guest. He sized me up, but he didn't like the fit. They all come back. Hey there, sweetheart. Gosh. Oh, there was a dame with a cover charge. Her eyes glisten in the moonlight, and summer in, and winter in too. Sorry about that. Too nice a girl to be playing with rotten apples. Mm. No. Make an honest living selling home baked goods, but he won't stand for it. If you need a place to stay, <laughs> He's you're so a good big. man. Find someplace safe. If he shows up again, call me. You don't seem like the straightening type. Maybe because you got me all twisted. Frank holds this. Turns out this party's not for the big wig, it's for his daughter. Sounds like a snooze. <laughs> There's barely any dudes. Don't add on. I hate his guts. Funny you should mention his guts. Can you get a red 40? Yeah, here's a red 40, kid. I certainly didn't do it to Frank. She's doing it. Cricket! Cricket! What are you doing here? Dee paid me to cover her shift. Go check it, Charlie. No reason. Oh, oh, yeah, more. All right. Frank, let me stay. Frank, let me sneak down there. Oh, you tell me Frank's running underage girls? I wouldn't put it past him, but no, that's not what I'm talking about. Frank hired me to go down to local bars and stick my fingers in the garter station. People get sick, of course. God, that's disgusting. So he ate it's one. an honest living. Not really. He flashed a roll of nickels, and I didn't ask questions. No matter <laughs> Only what they you, want, Cricket. Only you. Where they want you to put it, or... I'd been looking at this all wrong. It wasn't a poisoning. It was a payback. Go kiss a duck. You'll never make me talk. The wrong guy's cherries, and now Frank was dancing the porcelain rumba. There's only two things you can do in the dark. You can drink. If you came to shoot me, at least let me finish my drink first. Well, he better not. Then you'd have to say you miss me. The way they are talking is like, it's like, how do you say, like, 
I don't know how to explain the word. Like, it's just so corny, but it's funny. It's like, really? But I'm better at close range. Oh, my, yes, you see? Yeah. did, Charlie. I saw you scoop it out of the can, and it smells better. so bad. What you doing here, doll? I told you to find someplace safe. Oh. I'm sure, my arms are safe. It's my lips you have to watch out for. Are you telling me you have a cold sore or something? Because I'm not good with that. Oh, no, we're good. Oh, him and the waitress. Morning, doll face. When I'm trying to look sexy. You're supposed to be dead. I know, I can be dead and sexy. I need something better. What you want? You're a goon. I'm not the goddamn goon. You're the goon, dick. God damn it. Take it off. All right, I'm out of here. All right. <laughs> Frank sent to say to blackmail you, so you stop sticking your nose in where it don't belong. After Cricket fondles the cherries, the bars trash their whole supply, thinking they're all contaminated. And Frank resells them to the bars for a neat little markup. Really? Say, you two fellas know anything about a guy named Vince? Runs with a crew out of a church on South Street. Only he ain't the praying type. Talking to me? Yeah. Are you still here? Nah, we're gonna go now. Even now. Oh though. my god. That's for the best. Too bad I have a habit of pulling at loose threads. The doc says that's why my sutures don't heal good. So in the beginning, it wasn't blood. It was cherry juice, right? Frank? <clears throat> Cricket? <clears throat> Frank? <clears throat> I did. I was carrying a jar of cherries. I fell on them. They buffed. Cut the bull. I know all about your cherry scam. My cherry scam? I'm not the top of this Sunday. This goes all the way to City Hall. The dye used in maraschino cherries. And then I sat on them for a couple of months and then resold them back to the same bar. Turns out their customers didn't give a shit about the cherries. Old folks' homes for pineapple upside down cake and teetotalers who only drank Shirley Temples. All I want to know is who poisoned you? I try to protect you, Charlie. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Where is who? The girl. She belongs with me. You're trying to provoke me. Oh. Greg Forty. Okay, Vince. You seem like a smart cookie. I think you'd do well in our organization. You should join us. Well, how about I drop by a meeting? Sounds like a gas. <laughs> Ammonia bleach cocktail, AKA the janitor's helper. Wow. More unhealthy, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> Charlie. Thank God you're all right. The point is I took care of him. Oh, my hero. Yeah, give me a spoon. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. You were helping him sell the illegal cherries. I want you to think of me as a petty criminal. There ain't nothing petty about you. I didn't tell you because it's my cherry racket. Wow. Yeah. They had turned into a slam bang booze for the ages. Old folks homes, court ordered rehab centers. Poisoned it. You're good? Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. So you should stop eating it. Right. There you go. It's good. It's Christ. <laughs> what about Frank? But we were making too much money, so I diarrhea poisoned him to shut him up. He got the message in the end. Vince caught me smuggling boozy pies into AA and threatened to rat me out wow. when he was a real buzzkill. Literally. But why poison me? Either way, I'm leaving town tonight. And... Well, I can't have you following me. Who's going to stop me? I am. You use me like you use Frank. And I knew it was only a matter of time before you tried to poison me. Universal poison antidote. No, it's not. The leech? It's not. I leech on poison and cancels it out, I'm pretty sure. No, no. it makes the poison No. Work. Oh, God, Jesus Christ, Charlie! <laughs> 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 the gig's up, you ugly dame. You're under arrest. I mean, what are you talking about? That doesn't even make sense. Yeah, switch things up. So stupid. All right, go on. I'm not wow. going to let go. I got one job to do. I'm going to finish it. This is where you came in. Only now you know the whole sticky situation. Now I'm about to put my brains all over this floor. Wow. Honestly, I don't know how to feel about this episode. Like, it was funny because of the way they were talking. Like, pl someone please let me know what the... The the word for it is of how they were talking like how they just had everything oh my gosh i know i'm so sorry i don't want to sound dumb but i don't know what it's called but the way they were talking like it was funny because it was like like cheesy in a sense like corny but it was funny but i don't know what it was called and now it's like bothering me because like i don't know it's like puns was it puns no i don't know but i'm i mean i'm gonna just say it I'm a, a, 
that that outfit fit Mac. Okay, that outfit fit Mac very well, very well. And I can't believe they did a whole episode about cherries and Red Forty. Um, I have learned a little bit of Red Forty. I know it is bad for you if it is a Red Forty that I'm thinking about. Um, when it comes to like foods and stuff, but. I know there is some of you guys that have gotten this episode more in depth, like figured it out. So please, in the comment section down below, let me know the whole concept of this episode because I don't know. I, I didn't, I don't hate this episode, but I think it was more shook it of how it went down. Um, I know we were talking like about cherries and Red 40 and the cherries were poisonous because of the waitress and she was selling the other ones that were actually good. But I, I don't, I don't know. This, this episode kind of has me in a like, in a pickle. It has me in a pickle. But overall, it wasn't a horrible episode. I will say that. I loved the, in a sense, filming of this one it took it back to those like mafia days and stuff like that um fun fact my favorite well one of my favorite movies is goodfellas like i love that movie that is a movie that i just can rewatch over and over and the other one is um ah, what is the movie called uh a bronx tale that is my ultimate favorite movie also but, like I said, let me know what you guys thought about this episode. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it something that was just like, oh, okay, it was whatever. But, like I said, let me know down below in the comment section. I do have a Patreon for four episodes if you guys want to head that way, Jabronis. Until next time. Bye.